in this video i am starting with solve from reference book i am giving if the equation is in this form x square minus 2x minus a into a plus 2 equals to 0 solve for x here what to do we will do middle term factor clear our factors are a and a plus 2 from here what to bring we have to bring minus 2 or minus if i will take common you have to bring plus 2 so what we will do if a plus 2 and minus a then what will happen a plus 2 minus a a is cancelled out 2 so this minus this clear so my middle term factor will be in this form or x square minus take common then give bracket a plus 2 x minus a x or if you want in first step you can write x outside of the bracket minus a then minus a a plus 2 equals to 0 then open the bracket x square minus a plus 2x at minus minus here plus x minus a into a plus 2 equal to 0. Or what we can take common from here x. So x minus a plus 2 and from here plus a. So we are getting x minus a plus 2 equals to 0. Then My factors are coming x minus a. I am opening the bracket minus 2 and from here x plus a equals to 0. So either this is 0 x minus a minus 2 0. So x equals to a plus 2 or x plus a equals to 0. Therefore x equals to minus a. So you are getting two roots or two values of the unknown variable x as it is a quadratic equation so two roots will come and answer you will write separately in this way minus a and a plus 2 are the roots clear so by middle term factor i have solved it if the sum is next time You will uh, see the video properly and you will copy the sum. Maybe in PDF you will get another sum. So you have to do it yourself. First you will understand how I have solved. Then you will do it yourself. If the sum is this type. 1 by x minus a minus b equals to. 1 by x minus 1 by a minus 1 by b. Now what I will do to make it easier x related term I will take in left hand side and constant terms I will keep in right hand side. So this is becoming minus 1 by x and here minus both are minus you can take minus common then 1 by a plus 1 by b here take the lcm x into x minus a minus b so what will come then there is minus which will be minus x plus a plus b and right side also take the lcm which is coming a plus b clear then x is cancelled out. Numerator only a plus b and denominator x into x minus a minus b and right side this. 
Now from both sides a plus b, a plus b, this is constant term, you can cancel. So what I am getting ultimately? This is cancelled out. So this term I am multiplying and writing x square minus ax minus bx. Okay, here is minus. This minus now I am multiplying with this. Clear? It will be easier. Minus ab. Cross multiply. Here I have 1 is there. I have cross multiplied x and open the bracket x square minus x minus bx. And this is minus ab into 1 that means minus ab now take this one in left hand side minus bx plus then take on x minus a minus b so either x minus a equals to 0, either x minus a equals to 0, that means x equals to a, or x minus b equals to 0, that means x equals to b. Answer you will write down separately. I am not writing x equals to a and comma b are the solutions. Clear? Now, if the sum is this type, x minus 7, x minus 19 equals to 64. Left hand side just simply multiply x square minus directly I am doing. 19 and uh, 7 that means uh, 26 x and plus 17 into 9 133 minus 64 equals to 0 133 maybe yes then x square minus 26x plus 133 minus 64. 133 minus 64. Mm, 69. 69. Then we have to find out the factors of 69. So that 26 will come. 69. 69 by 3 and this is the prime number not possible oh, that is coming 23 and 3 that is uh, 3x plus 23x plus 69 equals to 0 now take x common, x minus 3, minus 23 common, x minus 3 equals to 0. Then we are getting two factors, x minus 3 into x minus 23 equals to 0. From here you will write in details either this or that. Therefore the roots are coming x3 and x23. So after solving each equation you are seeing that you maybe you have noticed we are getting two values if two values will not come then your answer is wrong clear now next one in next video